Good afternoon, we're so glad that you're here. We vlog every day, so if you like this video, come back tomorrow. So I'm starting off the vlog today at home. We are going to see Star Wars tonight at 7.45, so majority of the night we will be in a movie theater. Um, so I thought I would just give you a little insight into the end of my day. It is 3.45 already. Did a lot of design edit, like small things today, along with the vlog. Um, but I wanted to share with you guys a really exciting project that I'm working on. I love the vlog for so many reasons, but one of the main reasons is that we get to build relationships with all of you. What's even cooler is when I get to work with some of you guys on creative projects. If you reach out to me, um, I will always provide you my professional email um, and I'd be happy to take on any design projects if you ever need one. Um, and that is how I became so close with this client, Distant Imagery. Um, they're actually based overseas, which is super cool. Um, but this is actually my first video editing client that I've had. I did work for them last year, probably around the same time, but last year. And now I get to work with them again, this time on a job regarding blue carbon. It's through the Jeft Blue Forest Project. It's going to be shown at the Oceans Conference for the UN. The UN, it's crazy. It's just a really, really cool project that I get to be a part of. Um, and I'm editing some incredible footage. They take all the footage, they send it to me. I make it pretty to music at even like a more professional level than the vlog is every day. Um, and they told me that I can share that information with you. And as time goes on, I will be able to let you know where they will be, um, like where they will be shown and what other details about the conference and like what other impact these videos might have. And I will link all of their social media below, Distant Imagery. They do awesome work. And um, yeah, so that is how I'm ending my day is I'm gonna storyboard the first video so I can kind of tell them what I have in mind for it. And then they'll give me um, any criticism or we'll work on like music selection or all of that before I really dive into it. Um, as a lot of you know, there's not a ton of money. There's not as much money as there should be in things like this, um, especially regarding how serious climate change is. And so we're all kind of like just very aware of the fact that these videos are gonna do more than just like make us money, you know? So I'm being very thoughtful with my design time, as are they, and so it's really cool that we can work together on something so big and something so cool at this level. Um, so the footage I'm looking at today is from Madagascar. So cool, this is just like, if like you would have told me that the vlog would have brought this type of work into my life, I would not have believed it. So that's what I'm gonna do now and then the rest of the day, I'm gonna just do like little chores that we have to do before we leave for Chicago tomorrow. So I hope you enjoy some time lapses of me at work. All right, so I didn't get as much done as I had hoped for. Um, I didn't take into account the sun going down and because our apartment doesn't have a ton of light and I don't have that great of vision, I really didn't like think I could vacuum or sweep without like, I wouldn't be able to truly know if I got everything because I wouldn't be able to see. So I'll do that tomorrow during the day. Um, but I do want to show you the dinner I am making. I mean, I was still productive the entire time. My work took a little bit longer than expected. Um, basically I just switched around my schedule for tomorrow. So I made a ton of rice. I might have some of this tonight instead of the lentils, but then we'll also have it tomorrow during the day and even maybe on our road trip. It's just plain brown rice, so even Eve could eat it. And this is what Peter had a taste for, is just lentils. Um, I cooked them in vegetable broth and then just spunked them up with some seasoning, nothing fancy. And then this is basically all the vegetables that we have 
left in the house. I don't want to leave without cooking them because they will go bad in the week that we're gone. So I typically wouldn't put this much in a pan, but I was going to show you a yummy quick sauce that I make with veggies that we'll be able to put over either the lentils or the rice. In this case, I used onions, potatoes, and zucchini. I have some more potatoes left. I think I'm going to make wedges tomorrow, um, but you could really use any sort of veggie or tomatoes or anything. It's just like whatever veggies you got, you could use with this sauce. Season the veggies first, and then I added some soy sauce. I think it's important before you make a sauce to put over veggies that you cook the veggies by themselves. I guess it's not the case in every situation, um, but I like the veggies to taste really good on their own and the sauce tastes good on its own. So you have like both of those flavors there instead of just the sauce. Um, so that's why I fried up the veggies first. So like I said, this already has some soy sauce on it. I'm gonna add vegetable broth which I just have a little bit left in this. This will actually help the veggies get more tender. Also, I'm gonna turn this down to lower so it's more so simmering. And then any unsweetened milk, whether that is animal milk or from a nut or oat, um, as long as it doesn't have any sweetness in it, like coconut milk is typically a little sweet. I'm gonna add in probably like half a cup. I'm just gonna eyeball it, um, probably enough so it doesn't overflow in my case. Um, so this will make it a little bit more creamy. So that's how that looks. And then soy sauce. You can always add more. Um, soy sauce can be overpowering, so I would say add a little bit at a time and add as you go. So although I did season the veggies when they were first in, I did add a little bit more garlic, red pepper flakes, and ginger. Um, those three flavors go very well together, especially with the soy sauce. Um, so I just add a little bit more and then because my potatoes and zucchini have a lot of starch in them I shouldn't have to add any flour to make the sauce thicker. I'm just gonna let it simmer um, And see how it looks um, But if you're not using starchy veggies, then I would suggest putting in some flour um, to, to thicken it up a little bit Okay, so I did end up adding like a tablespoon of flour. I also added in some sriracha So I'm just gonna cover it let it simmer and we'll eat soon. Good afternoon. It is Peter and we'll per use stuck in some traffic. But tomorrow's the day we go to Chicago and today's the day we go see Star Wars. All right, I'm home. You saw the traffic wasn't too crazy. I actually got home probably at like 5.50, probably five to six minutes earlier than I usually get home. These lentils are great, even though they're overcooked. They're Sarah's like, dishing up this delicious looking dinner. I'm having mine separate. Peter just asked for everything in one bowl. I like to put all of my stuff when it's I like feel this. Like if you have like, you know, like what's gonna be written on your gravestone, like put it all in one bowl. You know who else does that? Who? My papa. Really? Well, I don't know if he does it, but he would always be, his, his response would be, it's all going in the same place. I guess that's what my mom would tell me. Um, we're about to watch the video that came out recently by Strava and it's called Becoming a Marathoner. Wow. Sarah already agreed to watch a 13 minute video. I was like, can we watch a 13 minute YouTube video? And she's like, yeah, sure. She had no idea. So, well, got her. I'm excited because I feel like you're excited to get started running again. But I'm going to eat, drink pop right now and eat a bunch of cookies so I can <laughs> regret it later. Regret it later. I got some music videos on. We're getting Eve's movie ready. Santa's so tired. It was a long night out on Christmas Eve. I changed into a comfier outfit. Got my Judge Me By My Time Do You shirt on. Christmas vibes. Running vibes. <laughs> and Star Wars vibes. We have to go to the movies in less than an hour. And we have like a 20 minute drive. I think it's gonna be less now that traffic hopefully is better. Mm -hmm. Going to Altamont Springs, not Disney Springs. Oh, it's so weird. Altamont Springs. We had a 12 o'clock show <laughs> at Disney 12 Springs, 1230. Yeah. And then I looked at, and then we bought that, I looked up October 22nd, the day they went on sale. Oh, but we were just- But late. I was hours late, so I got that. And I was like, oh, Disney Springs, we gotta. And then I was talking to my friend, and he's like, I got eight o'clock, and I was so jealous. And I was like, you know, I'm just gonna look at Altamont Springs, because it's like the Well, we're also the driving tomorrow, and I was like, 
we're gonna be exhausted more than we already will be from just like so we actually got tomorrow. better seats because we were yes. in the second row for that 12 30. Yeah. now we're in like the middle of the theater at 7 45 which is in 55 minutes we gotta go check out our cute christmas cards hung up right by the door Florida Adventures bring us to another mall. Oh, it smells like every mall in America. Not the mall in America, just every mall in America. Yeah, there's a burning. Oh, this is giving me weird flashbacks to Chicago. It's weird. And you love working on Christmas. I did more love working in a mall during Christmas time. It gives me a thrill, it gives me an energy boost. Kind of like I, I always should have been a barista or a bartender. I would have been so good. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. But we have to go. <laughs> no, but we still got goods. Yeah, there is no Christmas tree scent. There's one candle. I had it, but I put it back. I, Peter was like, you can either get two candles or we can get seven Red Bulls on the road trip. And I was like, <laughs> Red Bull? <laughs> but we do have to go because our movie starts, the trailers, which you guys know is our favorite part, starts in 13 minutes. Thank you for shopping at all time. I didn't like it that much. You didn't even get a chance. A chance? <laughs> Peter cut me off last time. I was gonna say we didn't give it a shot, but then I decided to say chance, and that's why I said chance. It's um, a pretty good word, yeah. Ultimate Spring is props for having an IMAX, but why do you have a weird parking garage? <laughs> At least there is a parking garage because we wouldn't have had a spot. Because it's packed. Kind of hoping that our AMC's got that. Bounce back points, we can get some popcorn. This is exactly the same as our River East, um, downtown Chicago, fun times forever movie theater. And we don't have awards, redemptions on our app, but all of a sudden something popped up, a free lunch drink and a free popcorn for my birthday. Thank you for being born. So we're getting popcorn and a pop. <laughs> <laughs> and nobody's here. I, think, oh. I don't think anybody here knows that Star Wars, the last Star Wars of the Skywalker Saga is coming out today. Oh wait, no, there's a Joby that started at 6 o'clock. They're probably so happy right now. Oh yeah. What do we got? 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 Plain Coke or Mr. Pitt? Uh, wait, like plain Mr. Pitt or plain Coke? Those are the options we're going with? Just plain Coke. My own I'm birthday a drink. I'm just joking. I, Sarah goes, what do you want for your birthday drink? And I was like, I don't care. What do we both want? Do you want cherry coke? No, regular coke. Fa Mulan. Present. Look at our spicy treats. <laughs> I like, kind of feel like we're cheating on Disney Springs. Who do I? It's really bizarre. I Wait, this is in our side. Star Wars, Star Wars, Star Wars everywhere. Star Wars, Star Wars, Star Wars, Star Wars, Star Wars. Do movie theaters look like this in other countries? If you're from another country, say hello. let us know. Say hello. Can we stay at your house? Okay, see you in a million years. It's actually, how long is this movie? But our lives are going to be different when we come out of it. <laughs> So Sarah learns from her father the precise, systematic, and scientific way to prepare theater popcorn. Actually, he did not do hot sauce. Nobody did. Same thing with butter. Yeah. Like same, same. Yeah, same art form. But we had hot sauce and jalapeno. Perfect. That was, so you got, I mean, let's, let's be honest, let's preface this. You guys know Sarah and I are super easy to please. <laughs> um, We're not going to give spoilers, no spoilers, but we liked but it. But we loved it. We loved it. We loved the endings, we loved the twists, the turns, the surprises, the what you that's, expected. That's, yeah, it was that's all... why I like movies that take you by surprise. Yeah, but it was really good. Um, I'd I, like to say I'd like to see it again, but it's like... It was a long movie. Yeah, it was it's 10 say, 36. Like started, we were in there a long time. I feel like I think it was, it, I think so it was much longest. happened in that movie. <laughs> I know. And I want to go back and like see all the like if there's any Easter eggs that we didn't catch. Yeah. Um, wow. 
Yeah. But okay. really good. But we got to go home because. Tell us when you're going to see it. Yeah. And let us know what you think. Yeah, Peter's gonna run. I'm gonna okay. clean bathrooms. So by the time we get home, it's gonna be like 11 15. I'm gonna go on my run then. So we're gonna clean bathrooms. Bye. Bye bye. I'm gonna go on a run. I'm gonna check the shop Disney app for some last minute Christmas gifts. I really don't know if I'm gonna go to the park to get it, but. I don't know how you'll be able to with our timing tomorrow, but. We'll see. It's 11.20. I'm about to go on a run. Sarah might clean? Yeah, I'm going to clean bathrooms. Maybe just one. And I wrapped up most of my work, so I'll probably do a lot of cleaning tomorrow. A few moments later. All right, I'm back. And I'm back at it. Knocked out four miles at an 8.52 pace. Um, I thought about going to six, but I thought four was a good, since it was so late. And we do have a big day tomorrow. I thought four would be a good way to get back into it after 11 days of not running. I'm gonna take a shower and do some good rolling out tonight and get back in the habit of doing my, all my rollings and my regiments and my stretchings um, on a daily basis, even when I don't run, because that is keeping those muscles and ligaments loose and stretched and limber is more than half, I feel, for me personally, the battle with running. I felt good though. Oh, good to be back running. Oh, I, I'm thinking that we'll get this all situated after the holidays. A lot of this stuff is ready to either get split or potted. We're going to go to that plant store, downtown Winter Park, get some more things to situate. But today, there's six days till Christmas, one day till we leave. Thomas Edison says there's a way to do it better. Find it. Remember we used to sign off like right next to our mirror all the time that the calendar was here? Yeah. So in 24 hours we'll be in Georgia. Yeah. Yep, 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 yep. I feel good about what I got done today. You got a lot of work done when I was yeah. gone. Um, our, pie, our tree has been shedding needles like crazy. It's because it's a parking lot tree. <laughs> so, yeah, that was the biggest to do, but. It'll be interesting to see what would happen to that tree while we're gone. For sure. But it'll be time to take it down when we come back anyway. <laughs> it's good to be home. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>